Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I am here with a completely new show. This is Tact OP Destiny Episode 1 Reaction. So this is one show which is uh, anime original I think. There is no manga, no source material, nothing. So I think like you know why like you know like why I was so interested in this was obviously the story itself sounds really amazing. I checked out the trailer and also the summary. It sounds really interesting. And you know like music and um monsters you know like using music to win like you know fight and all that stuff it, it it sounds really interesting and the biggest reason is because mappa and madhouse both are involved in this wow so both of them are really like obviously like mappa and madhouse are insane like you know that that animations are just insane both of them madhouse like did overlord which is like one of the like you know best has best animations uh, and mappa we know at that one titan all the like most of the shows are mappa are kind of doing so <coughs> excuse me so that's why you know like yeah this this I'm, I'm really interested how this will turn out how the animations will turn out also like another plus point as i said this is since this is related to music a lot of bangers will come i'm sure about it a lot of amazing songs so yeah that's why i was so interested in this and decided to make a reaction out of it so let's see what this is about um i have a little bit of like i know a little bit of, about it because from, from all from the trailer that's just it so let's see what this like you know story is about so without further ado let's get started this is stacked op destiny episode one reaction so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go <coughs> okay beautiful stones Okay. Many years it so this hap kept happening. Damn, those are huge. Whoa. Oh. They appeared. Music art, okay. Possessed of Oh, those stones, okay. Oh yeah, I see. I think like the music is banned or something in the trailer. They said. Hopefully. Okay, I feel like something bad is going to happen. <laughs> Whenever someone like goes alone, some kid. Especially at the start of an anime episode, yeah, something bad is going to happen. Oh no, don't do this. Oh great. Oh, it's a piano. Be sure to play me someday. Music will come back. No, don't press it. Music is banned if... No. Oh! Oh no! Won't? Okay. Okay. 
he did this guy does seem like a pianist you know especially let's give me give you a demo then <laughs> there you go <coughs> from the trailer we know that music is banned so isn't won't they get into trouble or something if Oh yeah, yeah, the people are surprised. That is music. <laughs> this is a crowd is forming. Oh, whoa, what's happening? Okay, these are the monsters. Oh, no, here we go. I knew it. There you go. Um, Jimmy. Whoa, where did she pop up from? Whoa! What the? Wait, what happened? His hand became foul petals. Oh, this is the girl we saw in the trailer. Oh, those two are the same people. The blonde haired girl and this girl. Okay. Okay, so she he lacks a hand. Oh my god. <laughs> the animation is we know like you know nothing else to say. The animation is Okay, so his hand... Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Dude! <laughs> Did he get tired or something? Maestro Takt. D2. Life force. Whoa. <laughs> so she just used all her power to <laughs> defeat it. Tuning adjustment. Oh. Oh, th wait, I've heard this voice. Ooh. This voice is very familiar. <laughs> this voice is very familiar. I can't put my finger on it, but I know this voice actor, actress. Cosette and Anna, okay. And Takt. September 2047. He, he still is. Uh, he's still like doing the piano. Uh.
Uh, he was so happy to play it. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Yeah, true. <laughs> Calorie is over. No more food. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow, she ate a lot. <laughs> Potato in the mouth. <laughs> also, they're really blood related. Like, are they like really brother, like blood related, or I'm sure we'll get to know. <laughs> wow, the, the visuals are very pleasing. Mm. That down. Oh, okay. Well, we have a music art here, so... Whoa. Oh, that's why the, the whole store is empty. No one is here. Yeah, no one's here. <laughs> she ate it all. <laughs> Is that a jukebox? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Grand Maestro Seven. <laughs> Do not use. Yeah, no music. <clears throat> Early what? What command? Okay. Okay. Yeah, it will help them as well, you know. Oh! Too late! Yes, Masaka! No! Oh my god, this girl! She broke the whole store! That's not a window! That's the whole store! <laughs> wow! Damn! Yeah! <laughs> Wait, take him! He's awesome! <laughs> oh no, what's happening? Hmm. Oh! Wait. Oh, wait, what? Oh no, what happened? Um, run. No, what is it? Boarding it up. Oh. Hmm. 
<laughs> the difference. Oh yeah, true. Ah, uh, wow. <laughs> True. Oh my god. Nah, it's not that easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what the hell? Ah, uh, what? Okay. Oh no. Oh. Huh. <laughs> oh, his kick. Yeah, that was what I was saying, like, he needed to go, or... Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, they'll come running and just... <laughs> Okay. Hmm. Okay. Nah. Oh, uh, okay. Wait, are they like... Oh my god. <laughs> oh, so they can play music now here? Oh, okay. Interesting. So they're free to play music where they where there is no D2. Well, she took their piano. Great. <laughs> Okay, this, she's just borrowing it, you know, she'll, 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 I'm sure she'll put it back. <clears throat> Alright, time for Tucked to... There you go. Oh. So any type of sound, but music is more effective. Oh, interesting. Wait, didn't they say that if they pass this, they're going to attack them? So why are, is no one here now? Oh, I'm guessing because it's night or something. Probably they're sleeping. Whoa! My God! Damn, I was, I was listening to the music and suddenly... <laughs> Black Cider.
Whoa. Okay. Uh... <clears throat> All right. <laughs> so you gonna shoot it like a gun. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay. Oh no. Gallery defeat. Whoa, what's happening? What the hell? Side right. Whoa. Oh no, it's regenerating. Oh my god. <coughs> oh boy. Thank god this is like an abandoned place. If this was like in the middle of the city, imagine the destruction it would have caused. Okay, wow. Ah, now they can play the music. <coughs> ah, they can use the jukebox as well. And people will come, I'm, I'm guessing after this people will start coming here because there's no D2. And... Yeah. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, and we got we, we can go quickly here. Yeah. <clears throat> what? <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> He's not listening. <laughs> Regret is this one. <laughs> wow, she wanted a full, like, you know, thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, this is the end ending of the opening, I think? Probably the opening. Wow. The songs will be amazing, I can feel it, especially because this is related to music, this anime. <coughs> Come on, wow.
Ah! Oh, this is Supercell song. Oh, okay. Wow, wow, that was, that was a great first episode. Okay, before I forget, one thing I am very curious about, who's the voice actor of that girl? Um, let me just, I feel as if I've heard her voice so many times, I cannot remember. Uh, <clears throat> I'm talking about that girl, uh, what's her name? Anna. Um, Anna's voice actress is Hondo Kaede. Hondo Kaede, just a sec. Hondo Kaede. Okay, who did she voice act? Why am I so familiar with her voice? Uh, okay. Uh, oh. Oh, okay, that's why. Sakura. Sakura Minamoto's voice actress. All right, I was thinking. All right, okay, so yeah. It's Sakura's voice actor from uh, Zombieland Saga. So that's why I was like, where have I heard this voice so much? Okay, so. <clears throat> All right, so this episode, this is the first episode of this uh, anime uh, now so the thing the whole background of this story is that there were these stones that were <coughs> falling from the sky people tried to find what they are many researchers kind of did their own research on it but then after a few years <coughs> there were like huge rock kind of things that started flowing in which turned into um some monsters like the black stones it turned into these monsters and they started wrecking havoc and <clears throat> music arts were the only one who were able to fight against them and music arts always needed someone <clears throat> a partner that is a conductor so here in this show uh, we have our conductor uh, Takt and the music art um, what was the name Cosette just a sec like her, like they, I think they, they called her Destiny when she was in her music art form. But her name is, uh, I think, Cosette. That was the name, I think. <clears throat> yeah, I think so. So, so Cosette and... Doctor, just a second, why is her name not written here? Yeah, her name is Cosette. So, <clears throat> Cosette, Takt, and Anna. I need to start remembering their names. All right, so these characters, these are the main characters of the show, and I think we're going to get two more new characters. Two, I think, yeah, two or one. I'm not sure. But uh, from the trailer, right, as far as I can remember, this there was this another girl, um, another, guy as well those two they're also in the uh, uh, poster as well so yeah we're probably going to get two more characters who we're probably going to meet in the road or something on the road or something but yeah for this episode um we see that music has been stopped now one thing that we know here is that i thought like a, a from the beginning i thought like they did not like music was harmful to them i thought but it's not that they're harmful music is just something that these d2 monsters they don't like and that's why no one actually <clears throat> like plays music because if they start playing music these things will come running at you so that's why they just like you know stop playing music at all and music has kind of been like you know not being played for lots and lots of years you know, probably like centuries or something and <clears throat> this guy tucked he he loves music like you know music and like you know pianos i think and um the girl cosette uh she 
it seems he is really determined in fighting these d2s because in the in the middle of the like you know episode we saw how <laughs> anna said said that okay so what is our goal and that was like playing music and because <laughs> it was like destroying the d2 so <laughs> And Anna was like, no, we our goal is to go to New York. So yeah, okay, so that was <clears throat> like you know, like that's those two characters. Now they're trying to go to New York because I think like Anna said something like her sister, her older sister, I can't remember her name, uh she can tune Cosette. I'm not sure what that means. Probably you're going to get to know in the future episodes. <coughs> That's why they're going to New York <coughs> because Cosette needs tuning. So probably she'll be more stronger or something like some kind of an upgrade. I'm guessing, you know. Now the interesting thing here is we still have no explanations as to what happened and how they transformed. But one thing that we can clearly see here is when this guy, like when Tucked, you know, uh, one of his hand vanished into flower petals and as soon as that happened Cosette transformed and that I don't know from where he gets this kind of uh, conducting rod I think that's what it is called I'm not sure what it is called you know the, the things that they use to conduct that thing conducting stick I think not rod um, uh, that got that and um, Cosette became Destiny, I think. That's I'm guessing that's her like music art name or something. And she gets this huge sword, which also is a is a gun, you know. So, <laughs> so yeah, that was interesting. And I wonder what the actual reason is behind one of his hands suddenly going missing. Probably there's some kind of uh, reason, which we're going to know in the future, you know, like how it works out but yeah like one thing we can clearly say here is that his hand vanishing is somehow related to the transformation so okay now one thing another thing we got to know here is when the conductor and the music art at, are close together the con the music art is get, able to get more stronger use more of her power that's why when in the later part of this episode when Cos cosette went herself to go fight you know alone she lost and she said something like you were not there you know so i wasn't able to use my full power and then we saw how later on at night when they went and when they were together uh, both of them were able to do something now i'm i one thing i we still have no information about is what Tart did later on you know when they were fighting the big monster um in that abandoned place we saw like <clears throat> like obviously destiny was fighting uh, gazette was fighting but we also saw Tart also like go in and kind of say something like use what unleash the power of music or something and like because mm, that was able to finish the monster that's why i'm guessing this is the reason why because i said that since you were not here i wasn't able to use my full power or something like that so they get stronger when they're close together when they're fighting together probably something like that because when that is conducting i'm guessing she gets more stronger another thing that this episode kind of showed us is that scene where um where they were fighting and uh, uh, not they they um Cosette was fighting um some kind of red patch started okay yeah when Cosette got hurt not hurt but when she was flung into that window big window thing um, I'm not sure if that was the reason why, but there's this kind of a red patch that started coming into Tuck's neck. And I'm guessing there's some kind of a, I don't know, some kind of a side effect of this whole thing, probably. Because later on, um, when we saw him, them in the, in the car, them going, I don't think, I think the, yeah, the patch is not there anymore, the red patch. Yeah, yeah. Even when he, she was, he was playing the piano later on. You know, after the fight ended, the patch was not there. So I'm not sure what that was. Probably some kind of a side effect. You know, well, probably because Destiny was hurt or something. That's why maybe he he got that kind of a patch. I'm not sure what that was. 
they'll also probably explain that. And I feel like that is bad news, you know, that whole red patch that came in. It seemed like he was hurting. So that is bad news. Usually in these type of situations, there are some side effects, you know. Like, it seems as if Takt is all safe, you know, but it's probably not. He's also, like, expanding. As he said, oh, another thing he said, he's using the life force. So, probably that was, like, a side effect or something. And usually, these type of things are not good. So, yeah. Hopefully, they'll elaborate this in the future. <clears throat> okay, another thing that I... Like, I need to check out here. When they were playing, okay, there's this purple ball. All right, Tuck says a black stone, of course. So they came to this town because the black knight side rights attracted them. Okay, so I need to start remembering these terminologies. Black stone. Uh, black knight side rights i think the side rights are those little monsters that were accompanying that big monster so duct is saying that this big thing like this black stone this came because these side rights were attracting it no wonder they don't show themselves easily and this this huge monster thing had like a little a, kind of like a sack you know? uh, a purple sack within it there was a stone i think which later on de Gazette destroyed <clears throat> to actually defeat it. So, all right. <clears throat> now, that was that. Another thing we got to know from this episode was there's a background, a history between Tuck and Gazette because later on when we see Tuck falling down, and Cosette, um, you know, giving her hand to Tuck, uh, they showed us a little flashback where we saw Tuck and Cosette. And that's probably some kind of a backstory which they're going to show, like, tell us later on. And we're also probably going to know how they met, how, like, you know, why they are doing, like, you know, like, kind of going to New York, all the, like, you know, background about this later on in the future. Because, uh, yeah, like, they, they, they probably do that in the future because we have no background information. Uh, like, the anime kind of started from where they are already journeying. So what happened before that journey? Surely they'll show, show us later on and probably it will be something that shows us how they became friends, why they're fighting and all those things. So... Yeah. Now, here's another thing. Um, uh, there, there's one thing that I thought when I watched the trailer. I thought that the, these D2 monsters have actually kind of uh, taken over the world or something. But it, it seems a, a little bit different from this episode. It, like, you know, they, they're basically like, um, what can I say? Mm, like, uh, mm, some kind of, uh, like, I don't know that like it, it seems like they are there but they don't show themselves that much you know whenever music is playing they kind of come rushing out to like you know to kill you and sometimes like in this abandoned city they kind of make the nests or something with these side rights and these things kind of annoy the people and like you know kind of kill people I think I guess or, like you know harm them that's why people like you know kind of avoid them try to avoid them so it's not that these things are actually um something that took over the world or something the world is going on as it is like you know as, like normally but these are just like I'm guessing like these are like in, they're like infestation zones or something but these type of monsters are kind of like in there and people don't go near that because they're going to get attacked and there are obviously normal cities where we see people are just like you know doing their own thing the only thing is that they do, they sh they don't and they should not play music whenever they play music they kind of come rushing in which is yeah so basically these are like alien forces i'm guessing you know and humankind are at war with with them now, there's one thing that we still don't know. It seems as if these, uh, like, you know, monsters, these D2s, they don't have any um, intelligence. It seems like that. Maybe we'll know more in the future. Maybe it'll change in the future. Because for now, for the first episode, 
it seems as if these things are just monsters that move at, like you know according to their instinct they don't have any kind of uh decision making power they don't have any i don't know intelligence it seems like that but who knows maybe probably in the future episodes they might prove us wrong and maybe we will get to know that oh these things probably have some kind of an like you know intelligence maybe some kind of a leader who is actually ordering them to go and like you know attack or something i don't know but yeah and we're probably also going to, going to know why they hate music so much like you know why why do they do that like what's the reason behind it so these are the few questions that we like you know got from this episode like yeah the, the thing that i'm really curious about is are these things really um you know don't do these things really don't have any intelligence that's one thing i'm really curious about because it seems like this can they kind of seem like zombies you know like they're just like according to their instincts just like you know whenever they hear yeah they're kind of like zombies in a way like whenever they hear some kind of sound they just rush towards that just like zombies and but zombies are slow and these things are like fast as hell so <laughs> that's the difference and i guess these things don't infect you like if they bite you or something i, I guess you won't get infected that's i think the difference between zombies and these things <laughs> you know so yeah interesting so yeah that was it i think that was this episode and yeah so so basically what what mean this means is that these two places they are like cleared of these d2s now so i'm guessing these people will be able to play music now uh, unless and until some new d2s show up for example like you know now that 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 town in the with that we saw in the first like you know the beginning there there are no d2s around it so i, I hope Cosette will return the piano and maybe some people will like play the piano and won't get affected by like, you know d2 because there's no d2 around here so it's something like that so it's basically like yeah whatever there's d2 you should not you should stop playing music now this kind of makes me wonder about one thing you know like um so why is music completely stopped like i'm sure there are some places where there is no d2 so i i guess music should be played there because since there's no d2 to attack you but why is like no nobody heard like you know music for so long why is that happening here so does that mean like d2s are everywhere like if d2s are everywhere that would probably like you know uh, be the reason for that like no one has um, like you know made music produced any sound for so long so yeah i wonder so like it kind of i don't know yeah that might be it probably probably like this every d2 is like everywhere so that's why they kind of and i'm guessing they're also scared of actually playing music you know like like who knows even if they know that there's no d2 like there, there's like a fear within you you know like they, they'll think like oh my god like if i play music who knows maybe some d2 will show up and kill us or something probably that's another factor like the fear factor that yeah like d2s are everywhere they can just kill us so let's not take the risk and play any music and yeah so okay another interesting thing that we heard here which uh it's quite interesting is that the d2s get more annoyed by <laughs> more sophisticated music more good music so if you may if, if you like take a fork and kind of bang it on your table the uh, like you know if there's like a d2 beside you the d2 will be like ah oh, that sound is kind of annoying but i guess it's okay so but then if you start making some kind of a music with it like <laughs> the d2 will be like hmm, i'm kind of getting annoyed but i guess it's fine but then if you start like you know kind of bringing an, an instrument and just like play start playing the flute or something the, the the d2 will now get annoyed and try to kill you it's basically something like that and if 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 some kind of like a master pianist or someone like you know like in the like opera like you know in the orchestra or something someone starts like comes and starts playing music <laughs> they will be mad and they'll just try to kill you they'll be the most annoyed that's what is happening another thing i wonder here they told about music what about singing you know like do, are they also annoyed with singing like the, the thing that we saw here is was only music like you know like piano like that was playing pianos 
So I wonder if they also get uh, annoyed with like, you know, songs, like if someone like without any music, if someone just hums some kind of song, you know, will they get annoyed? That's another thing that I'm interested about. Probably they will because like, you know, like a song is also kind of like, uh, like has a tune, has a melody. So I'm guessing anything with this kind of a melody or something like, you know, with a particular wavelength or something, probably they get annoyed. Probably it's something like that, you know, probably the sound wavelength kind of annoys them or something. <laughs> oh boy. Interesting. There's a lot of things to actually like, you know, think about. And it's interesting because like, you know, since this is an anime or original, everyone is at, at like, you know, in the dark. No one knows what's going to happen. So it'll be kind of fun to actually like, you know, like think about this and kind of make guesses and everything and see if like, you know, our guess is actually true or something. So yeah, that was it. That was a fantastic first episode. I loved it. And the character designs are fantastic. I love Gazette's design when she becomes a music art. That's a cool looking design, you know, and yeah so these characters like we can see Tuck is obviously like, <laughs> like you know very passionate about music and Gazette is very passionate about eating <laughs> and uh, Anna is <laughs> no one listens to her she's like the big sister oh another thing I wonder she said something about uh, Gazette being her little sister so is this like the blood related sister or it's just like they are kind of like you know they, like she calls her her sister Hopefully we're going, going to get a clarification in the future as well now, about that, you know, in the future. So, yeah, I wonder. It, it seemed as if, I don't know, they don't seem blood related. So it's probably that she just calls her her sister. I don't know. We'll see. So, yeah, so these characters, it's like, it looks like a fun thing, like, because <laughs> it is quite e eccentric in a way, as we can see, you know, like, she's, she's a bit eccentric. And I love these type of eccentric characters, you know, like, she, she's like a, a kudre, kind of like, you know, like, she, she's kind of stoic and, you know, like, does not talk much and everything, usually keeps quiet. But when she starts talking, she, <laughs> she's very eccentric. I love these type of characters, you know. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the future, how this is going to go. Oh, and the animations, nothing else to say. Like this is Mappa and Madhouse. So we saw how great they were able to do it. And yeah, the, the visuals are very lovely. You know, it, it, everything is so well drawn. Like not only the animation, the drawings, for example, the still images as well. Like if, like in anime, you must have noticed, like, you know, in a lot, most of the animes, like the animations are done well, but like whenever there's like a still image in the background, they kind of the, like, you know, they, they're usually drawn in a very casual way. Like for example, uh, like in a scene where there's like the main character standing, uh, in the background, probably there are like two or three people standing you know like those characters they're drawn in a very casual way because you know like why should we even like you know like you know the we, most of our focus is on the main character nobody no one would look at them so but here i could see like everything all the characters and everything like you know like even the background characters who were just standing there were done so well you know like all the objects as well were drawn so clearly and nicely you know the the uh, the visuals was vibrant and yeah that's that's the power of mappa and madhouse i guess <laughs> so yeah that was it so that's it guys thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to the first episode of tak op destiny if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know your opinions on the first episode and you know anything else i'll definitely check them out so that's it thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week same time with another episode of tak op destiny so until then goodbye and have a nice day